How are you, Mr. Homeroy? I'm up here at Tanafur Railway Station, and we've got the tent, the artist called the Borderline, because the New South Wales Queensland border's up there, and it's a Borderline Artist Club Society. And I'll tell you about that more in a moment. So this here was original part of the station mast, sorry, train drivers, mill rooms and all that sort of thing. And this is the Arts Society. And they do their all their artwork. And they're only here one day a month at the Tenerfield Markets. So we'll have a little look around. No, not the grassy so paddock. Just say hi, ladies. Hi. Give a little wave. There we go. And everybody's friendly. Right. So, um, if you want to come up here and you're into the arts and you like well, what you're about to see, this is what you're about to see. So, let's have a look around. These lovely ladies can show me around. So, we've got different artworks. Well, I don't know what I'm looking at. Well, we've got hand paintings here or these prints? Ah, uh, well. Yeah. My name's Rayleigh, and I'm on duty today at this little gallery, which is uh, for yeah, borderline okay. artists. And these are uh, mono prints; they're uh, little handmade cards. This one's a felted piece. Felted, uh, felted. mono lipped. Yep. Yeah, mono prints. Mono prints, right? Yep. Okay. We've got some hand woven baskets. Then right. we've got all sorts of cards and more uh, lithographs. And so we've got prints. a lithograph of the kangaroo. Yep, they're limited uh, editions. Limited editions. Oh, yes. Kangaroo and a wallaby. Yep. Or two kangaroos. Yep. Two kangaroos. And this this is just a small exhibition we have once a month when the railway markets are on because. Uh, and they're fifty dollars for that one. Yeah. This is an historical precinct. This building was. Uh, Yes, I was up here in 95, but anyway, I'll tell you about that oh, later. Okay. Yeah, this right, okay. Was, uh, 1871 or something. So yeah, 1871, all... that was for the train drivers, I believe. Yes, that's right. And these they come in and cook their meals cards. and then they go and bunk out. That right. one's an etching, if you can see it. Like just got to get the light. That's done on our big printing press. Yep. So we have 65 members and people come and use the printing press. Or 65 members? Yes. Oh, that's... This, this side of the border and the Queensland side of the border. Oh, so just going a bit of light on that. This woman's uh, an illustrator from children's books. It's hers. There we go. I don't even know. What is it? A picture of a oh, mushroom? Yes, and it's a, a fairy tale picture. Oh, a fairy tale picture. Right, yeah, I was trying to think of something. This picture is by an artist that's just me who's being silly. Yeah. been working out on the back veranda there, and that's plain air, so that's done in situ. Um, in situ, in right? In situ, when, you know, you just go out and you take your paints and you take your easel and you paint out in the air. Oh, so in other words, it's actually painted... Right there and right, then where yeah, it is. Right, okay. Yeah. I'm artist, not in the art sort of thing, so you're teaching me. Yeah. So I take it all these are somewhere around here somewhere. Yes, yes. These are all uh, local local little pretty spots. And um, then we have uh, fabric. We have uh, right, textiles okay. and fabrics. These are sort of scarves. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry, I These didn't see that. These are scarves made by... That's nice, actually. Yes, one of our artists. Crudon, can I send you one of these up? No, that's my lady friend. She's over in Texas. Oh, okay. She'll probably send me an email. Why didn't you get me one? Yeah, why don't you get her one? Yeah. <laughs> this is the same artist who did that. Yeah. Then we've got another another etching there. Whoop. That's a lyre bird. I don't know oh, if you can tiny. see that. Um, no, it's all right. Leave it there. I'll get it. Okay. It's just, I think. Oh yeah, right. I've got it. Yeah. There's the birds. Yeah. I've got a lot of white reflection. Yes, you have. There's a bird's head down there, yeah. and it goes up, up and there's his the tail feathers, and his That's head's right. over here. That's right. I'm just trying yeah. to get that. You need to see it. No, no, it's all right. No worry. I'll and move these on. Are, these are gouache pieces. These are miniatures. Yeah, right. gouache, which is a type of watercolor, and they they are miniatures. So, Dimping on the camera, sorry. Yeah. Okay. I'll get up this way. I'm trying to lean around the table. That's what my problem was. That's a felted was. piece that's called a standing stone. Oh, I see. It's a big stone. Yeah. And it's just. And a, it's, it's a blue sky in the background yes. and the clouds. Yes, and that's 
It's out in one of the paddocks here. It's just yeah. part of the, the, it's granite, a local, the it, granite country we, we're in. Oh, right, yes. Tenafil and Wollongarra, Jennings, and all around here is known as a granite country. And this is... Um, this is plain air as well, the same as Norton's painting, which has been taken, uh, been done out in the field. And that's at Girouin National Park. Oh, that's up here to the north, that's north right. of Wollongarra. That's right. That's right. So that's Park. where that is. Girouin. That's a, you know, an hour. Yeah. You know, Girouin is G-I-R-A, sorry, G-I-R-R-A-W-E-E-N. And it means place of flowers in Indigenous that's right. language. And there's also Girouin in Sydney, which is known as flowers as well oh, because right. okay. it was around the back of prospect around the water yeah. reservoir yeah. and that was all the flowers uh -huh. because of water okay and so these are these are just all miniatures and that's a, a waratah that's in retro style in i love your old radio yes isn't she great yeah that's beautiful look at that i mean yeah. a bush radio out yeah. in the bush yeah <laughs> that's what our ancestors used to listen to you exactly know. well i think i did nice and clean. i did too and then you've got some people working here come on Trusty. so you just get a tiny little bit in there yeah. oh you've got a couple of whatever oh, yeah, no, that's all right just things they're doing and they're this is, uh, sorting and making and whatever no, Painting, darling. This is, uh, oh, you did that, Norm? Yes, it's one of our plain air artists. Look at that, it's shine. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's that is beautiful. beautiful. It's just and there's the man himself. Small. The there you go. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now the ladies are doing some fabric printing here. Oh, we got that one. That's Isn't it lovely? It is. I like how he's put the tree right in front of the mountain. Yeah, yeah. And the tree's not over big, no. but it's not too small. And I like the red dirt. How he's got all that. That's beautifully done, mate. That is really yeah, beautifully done. I've never been much of an art person. I look at a painting and go, oh, it's a painting, but that, I like. That is, when you look at that through the camera, look at that comes you're, up. You always look better through the camera. Yeah. So yeah. beware when you buy stuff online. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we'll yeah, move on out here. Doing some, oh, we're doing some magic, fabric dyeing. Just have a look. We're doing some um, jelly plate in here. Jelly plate. Printing on the fabric. It's like a sausage factory, this is. <laughs> yeah, we've got all some sorts of things happening. So they'll be used for uh, oh, artworks right. in all different ways. Very technical. <laughs> that looks like a pair of Aboriginal legs, but anyway. Come on. <laughs> you could be absolutely beat what's going to come out of yes, this. I me mean, too. <laughs> I don't get it. You put a wire thing on there, you put a plasticky thing on there. Oh, well, I see. And that you got the three different. Yeah, and then I will use this as part of as part of this. So there's the crisscrosses, there's the legs, as they're called Aboriginal yeah. legs. There's the wire mesh and the yeah, bubbly the stuff up the top and the up. wire mesh down yeah. the bottom. Now they, they'll be cobbled together into artworks. Into, yeah, they'll all little, little portions of these will be all sort of intertwined together. That's unbelievable. unbelievable. Do you want to see the printing press? Yeah, right. Uh, okay, thank you, everybody. We'll thank move you. on. <laughs> We've exhausted okay, who's the hiding? Into the press room. I, uh, who's press hiding? Just doing a workshop here. <laughs> Uh, Hang on, power. let's catch them out. We don't tell them. We're going to sneak on, um, sneak up on them. You've Look. already snuck up. No, I'm a warner. I'm warning you. <laughs> so, anyway, so, so what do you do? This is. I'm taking a stitch for a walk. <laughs> Take a stitch for a walk. Hang on, let's see. Yeah, now I can see it. Can you? Yeah, go on. Where's that stitch? I wish going? my hands would work like that. I couldn't do a thing like this. Couldn't you? I'm sure you could. No. Nah. <laughs> Come on, put your thing down and have a go. Have a crack. Come well, on. then how am I going to film it? If I... Well, that's the point. <laughs> Don't stop it now. It's unstoppable. <laughs> now you see why my channel gets bigger and bigger and bigger yeah, every day. Yeah, it goes yeah. up by five people a day, and I don't even know who they are. <laughs> and I don't even advertise. There you go. I bet, I bet the local shop supermarket we said that sort of publicity. Yeah. Yeah. Five new customers every day and still had the there regulars. There you go, yes. That'd yeah, be very yeah. nice. Yeah, I work for Tenefem. So, we just, what's that going to be? Is it? It's just everything. going to be <laughs> a mental exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call you the philosopher. 
that's what it yeah, is. It's, yeah. it's a mindful stitching. Which I think this is beautiful. You know, if people in Sydney and Melbourne and Brisbane. We've got all this stressed out lies. Come up yeah, and sit down up here. They, they, they learned to, they learned to live. That's the aim of this. It is. It's <laughs> learning how to live and just enjoy it's life. Peace. That's right. Can peace and contentment. That's right. Yes, peace. Uh, look, I used to work with so many stressed out people. It was, wasn't funny. <coughs> <laughs> and I, my grandmother used to actually have had us doing plastic beads and and um, sewing in animals on cloth, like rabbits and things like that. Yeah. That was 55, 60 years ago. So, so, so that's that's the top half, isn't it? So on the back it looks. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> what you know when you what, what do you call that? The green vortex or spiral? Well, it is a bit, isn't it? Like a little mountain. It doesn't yeah. have to have a name. You know when you doodle with a pen? Yeah, this that's is doodling with a needle. Doodling with a needle. That's a good way to put it. And she looks like she's got something there from outer space. If I can get it on the camera. Looks like one of those things you see orbiting the planet. You know, it looks like, a, a, you know, that's, that's what they build in outer space now, the round thing with a thing hanging down on it. All right, ladies, thank you very much. And at least, at least you stand by Alan's lollies. Um, we lost fan tails now. They're gone. Now, come on, I'll show you. Right. Oh, and hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We've got the boss dog here. Hello. 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 What's your name? That's Trusty. Miss Trusty. I always put dogs in my videos. Oh, look, dogs are the biggest analytic supporters of Hello. Listen, can we have a look? Yeah, right. She's mommy's girl. She's just a bit Right, okay. I always wanted to come over this side. Oh, yeah. Well, what's the name? So That's the old. Um, That's just our stationary materials. Yeah, but that would have been. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, this is our printing press. Oh yeah, good little printer. So, yeah. There you go. That's what we all work on when we're doing etchings and um, uh, mono prints and things. So yep. this, is, this is called Priscilla. After, because she's a press, she's Priscilla. Not Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. No, no. I bought a bus and everybody is. thought it was Priscilla, Queen of the Desert yeah. because I bought it, decked it out around the same time Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, the movie came out in 93. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. And, of course, I got all the funny looks, didn't I? But anyway, and it was actually here. It actually come to Kennepill Railway Station. Oh, right. Yeah, it actually well, was here. That's that's Priscilla, and she's um, she's the queen of Tenterfield. So and, and then work, working tables. Oh, yeah, you get the other prints in there or something, and yes, yeah. we, you know, it's just a space. This is all a right. working space. We have a little exhibition. That's cool. Markets. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right, go and have a rest later. So that's, that's all so closed up. You. What's that's this one? Awesome. What's this? A... Oh, this is the old changer. Uh... No, that's a toilet. Oh yeah, toilets. No, I'm not going in. Yeah, that was the old shower. Yeah. yeah. Dad, my father come here. Oh, really? Yeah, when my father was a train driver, he come up here. Um, no, but I'll be right. Yeah, we get shower and toilets here. Yeah. yeah, my father come up here as a train driver. He was up here in the, in the mid seventies when the line was still open. He come up here. Yeah, he got a trip up here. He, he he wanted to go exploring, so he got a trip up here. Yeah, well, this was the um, Signalman's um, cottage. And Signalman's and cottage, the, or the train? Yeah, for the trains. And if you go around, if this is built, I think, in 1891 or something. Hang on, yeah. camera's back here. You're too far. <laughs> we won't hear you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, go on. Yeah, the, what, what was what? The Signal Cottage? This, this was the Signalman's cottage. Oh, so yeah. If you get up close, you can have a look at it's it's all historical. Oh yeah. And no, it's a dummy sitting there, people. Yeah. It's not really somebody and sitting there. It's a beautiful there. old stove. Stove and all that. Old cupboards. And then Yeah, they've really come ahead down here now, haven't they? This is the dining room, the old dining room, which you can see if you put it up really close. And there's an old bedroom here. Hey, well done, we? Oh. I've got my camera on. I've got the light on. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, that's sort of got it. Yeah, good. I've just got to get my shadow. There you go. There's a door over there. Anyway, yeah, it's just a dining room and a heater. 
there we go. Barracks 889 accommodation for the visiting train crews. And anyway. And here's the bedroom. And that was a bedroom. Yeah, that's all the bedroom is there's another dining in there. The old railway blanket. Oh yes. NSWGR. Anyway. Thank you. Say bye, bye everybody. Bye. bye. <laughs> There we go. And there's the famous 622 diesel over there my father used to drive. So if you want to come over here to Tenerfield, northern New South Wales, it's on the New England Highway, crossroads of the Bruxner Highway, you might say. And where the Bruxner Highway meets the New England, you can drive straight across down into town and you just will find the Tenerfield Railway Station. And I was a part of it back in 95, and there she is down there. And there is a website, the Tenerfield Railway Station Preservation Society. You can look them up. Anyway, that's it there for me, Mr. Hominoid. Remember, keep your dogs and cats and spaded. <laughs> get your dogs and cats spaded and neutered. And don't commit suicide. And don't forget your noise reach out for help. So for me, Mr. Hominoid, have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Here at the Tenerfield Border... Borderline artists. Borderline artists. There we go. From the lady herself. See ya.